Hey guys, Dan here with another quick review. Uh, this time I'm going to be reviewing Superman, Lois, and Clark. And I do believe this is Volume 1 as it is a Road to Rebirth. Um, I did read the Rebirth hardcover that kind of introduced the new changes to the DC Universe. Um, I didn't really want to do a review of it because I really wasn't that impressed with it. Um, so far, um, a lot of the Rebirth books I've been reading, they're just kind of mediocre and there hasn't been really anything too interesting about them to warrant making review videos. It's until I came across this one, which is The Road to Rebirth, and honestly I have to tell you after finish reading it that I don't see how this leads into the Rebirth's, you know, remake or redo, whatever you want to call it, for the DC Universe. Um, because there's some events, like, to explain where this Lois and Clark came from. Um, if you remember the Convergence storyline way back, um, when there was the final crisis and Crisis on Infinite Earths, all that stuff kind of ties into, like, DC's trying to do a continuation of all their books. So this isn't like a total remake, reboot, or whatever, like the New 52. And the New 52, I'm not really seeing how they're trying to justify the New 52. I kind of read that in the Titans Rebirth how they tried to explain how, how why the New 52 happened, but I'm not buying it. I thought it was a really, you know, not great of a way of explaining why the New 52 happened. Um, but with all of that being said, I'm here to talk about Lois and Clark, Road to Rebirth. And this was really, really good. It's kind of like a what if of, you know, we all want to imagine, you know, what would Lois and Clark, if they'd gotten married and they had a kid, you know, what would their lives be like? And this was kind of a good view into that what if. So that made this for really exciting. Um, I'm not going to say too much more to explain the background of who Lois and Clark are in this. Um, yes, there is the Superman for that world, and then there's them. And that's why the Superman on the cover is wearing a black costume, because it's a different Superman. Um, you really, I'm not going to spoil it, so you really got to read it for yourself to understand what's going on. With all of this being said, I thought this was a great book. A really great story. Um, I did rate this 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Um, the artwork was amazing. The story was really good. Even though there was one time where it was really corny, where there was a villain and she kept announcing herself, kept saying her name. And I was like, wow, this is really getting old and really corny. But with, I overlooked that because it was such a good story. And like I said, it was something that we all as Superman fans wanted to see at one time. So hopefully this story, like this book, carries on into the Rebirth books. And I would like to see more volumes of this. But who's to say? I mean, I don't know what DC is going to be doing, but I absolutely loved it so far out of the Rebirth books. I think this one was the better one. That's what I got for you. If you've read this, if you've read Convergence, or if you've read Crisis on Infinite Earths and all that, let me know what you thought of those and what you think of this whole idea of DC like rebooting, remaking their universe and the rebirth. Let me know down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, later.